This audio is rated PG-13. Previously on The Reanimated. How have you all survived so long? Without anyone to look after you? We look after each other. That's enough for us. What happened to all the adults? We were just told they just left. They left you all behind? They obviously didn't care much. Well, one day they were here. Next day we heard the weirdest noises outside. Then... We all noticed the sisters left. We couldn't understand it at first, but soon we adapted. So we're having to work? Well, I'm sure it won't be that hard. They are children, after all. (laughs) All the war will work for us. I think it will be fun. Think about it. At least we have a roof over our heads. I'm glad to get out of that boat. Here, here. Sleep will be for the best. Good night, everyone. Night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Dear Diary, I can't quite believe it's been a year since we came here. (laughs) And what a year it's been. We've found our safe haven. Our home. We've helped the children, well, I say children, (laughs) more hard-working adults than we are. It's hard to believe that they were running this place all by themselves. Well, before we came along, they turned their home into a fortress. Even though I'm grateful for the help, the children's lack of empathy definitely took me by surprise. They made me work until my leg got better again. If I have to be completely honest, I think it would have healed quicker if I rested, but I guess the highlight would be getting up later than everyone else due to my injury. I wish I kept it going for a few weeks yet. This place seems warmer than when we first got here. The days pass more quickly every time we wake up. I've even been working on my spelling. The children are better teachers than anyone. We even have our own classroom for learning. Not many people go into it, apart from me and a few others, though. Abigail took it upon herself to help us. She says, even though we try to survive reanimated every day, it doesn't mean our our education has to suffer. I've officially gone from scrubbing bedpans to scrubbing chalkboards. I'm not saying that my nursing skills have gone completely to waste. There's always the occasional scrape to the knee, or a cut on the elbow, or splinters. I feel that normality has hit us all. We all have our jobs to do, to ensure everyone's safety. Well, mostly everyone. Charles has unfortunately gotten into the habit of retreating to the corner of one of the old offices. He writes. Writes, writes and writes but never allows anyone to see. I don't know whether he's researching or writing a book, but he's always quiet. 
Even the last month or two, he has slept in there, away from us, away from me. At first he was helpful, constantly outside and aiding the smaller children. But afterwards he would stop completely. He put it down to not wanting to damage his hands. He said, what's the point of being a doctor without the full use of his hands? Surely he finds comfort being around others. Or maybe he just finds calm in the solace of his mind and his fragments of cryptic words on his outdated and yellow pages. That's enough for one day, I think. Yes. I can't quite believe it, can you? A whole year already. <laughs> a year since we came here. Over a year since our lives changed. Especially yours, Leon. Yes. Well, I've come to terms with everything, but it's also time to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate? Well, if things didn't happen the way they did, then I wouldn't have met any of you. I wouldn't have survived without you all. I don't think any of us would have. I'm just glad I can finally keep up with you lot. I had to rely on you for everything. Any word from him? No, I'm afraid. Still in the old sister's quarters as far as I know. I'm getting worried. You're getting worried? I'm terrified. I left food for him yesterday and it's still there in the same place as before. He hasn't even had a single bite. He's been acting really strange this past while. He rarely talks to anyone and does not contribute as much as we do. Maybe one of us should go talk to him? Maybe? Quite a lot of good that'll do. How come? He's essentially put old papers on the glass and no one can see in. I tried knocking on the door earlier, but he just said, Leave me in peace, I'm on the verge of a plan. A plan? Oh, he really needs help. <laughs> Indeed. Any volunteers? Fine. Fine, I'll do it. Might as well take the plates from yesterday. Don't want to attract rats. Charles? Charles, it's me. You hardly touched your food yesterday. Should I have any sand? I never do. Down she goes. Run, Alice. Run, she goes. Never ending. Never stopping. Never sleeping. I must destroy it. Destroy the darkness! Fury. Irie. Recoil. End. Fury. Irie. Recoil. End. Charles, please listen to me. The others are scared for you. I'm scared for you. Please let me see you. Let me in, please. They are trying to coax me out. They are trying to stop me. Trying to stop what, Charles? I don't understand. Why are you shouting like this? I don't this? think I hear them, but I hear them loud and clear. They're plotting to get me out. But they don't understand my work, my life's work. And up to this moment, and I can't have distractions. They all think I'm mad. I think they, all think, they all think I'm the mad one. No one thinks that, Charles. Don't! Don't. Just don't. Don't touch me. Infection often spreads from the contact. How most infections spread, spreading like a, like a fire through the system. Charles, I am well. You are well. They don't think I hear them, but I do. I hear them all. I hear the noises in this place, the echoes of what once was, the echoes of past loss. They are haunting me, Abigail. I, I cannot be out. I am. I need to keep on with my work. Please! I will leave. <laughs> but please promise me you will eat. You can't keep up your work without your strength, can you? I suppose you're right. Thank you, Nurse Windmore. Goodbye, Charles. So, how did it go? He's doing fine. All things considered. I'm just hoping he'll eat tonight. Any chance of him joining us tomorrow, at least? 
I don't think he will, if I'm being honest. He said that he doesn't want to be disturbed. I just... Still writing his nonsense, I take it. Well, that's the thing. He opened the door to me. But only slightly. But enough to, for me to see in. And? It's a mess. Papers everywhere. On the floor, on the walls. It's like he's trying to barricade himself in with scribbles and plans. Hmm. I wonder what his plans could be. If anything, it seems like he's losing his mind. No, please, please don't think like that. When things were... Well, before. He was a highly trained physician. He worked constantly. I remember the office being so pristine. Everything had its purpose and place. He would spend all his free time just organising the place, just in case he had an unexpected meeting. But now... Now, he has turned to the papers and scribbles as a place of solace. Maybe he thinks he can cure this plague. You still believe there is a cure? Of course there is. There has to be. Surely. Well, I for one am completely shattered. I, I think a rest will do us all good. Uh, everyone agree? Yes, definitely. Everyone get some rest. Big day tomorrow. What's the plan? Apparently some of the children noticed fences around the perimeter, damaged and needed to reinforce it. More heavy lifting for us, then. No problems for you, then, soldier. At least your legacy held up nicely. All those lions done you a favour. I wish we could have a lion more often. Well, we will all be late if we don't sleep. Good night, all. Night. 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 Down the rabbit hole she goes, down she goes. I can hear you all, don't worry. The tumbling of this ruin will bring forth a new age. Bring forth the fury of those who doubt. I rate all those who don't see the truth within these walls. The maddening sound of the echoes of those sunk inside the depths. Recoil their disgusting nature and look upon them with fresh eyes. And the only end to those to come, the end of days, the end of suffering, the end of it all. Morning, all. Good morning. Right, so good news, we've repaired most of the fences. The bad news is that we've had a few casualties. Casualties? Like what? Nothing too serious. Cuts, splinters, that sort of thing. Although... Although... Over here, away from the others. We done a head count this morning and some few are missing. We just thought some went scavenging, but they haven't returned. Like who? A few younger ones. Caterpillar, the Tweedle twins, and Seven. Surely they will return. It's not like them to just wander off. That's what I thought, but it's not like Caterpillar, of all people, not to tell me if they were taking people somewhere, especially out of grounds. Poor Five, though. He doesn't understand most of it. He just seems lost. Being about your sister. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, I know what that feels like. Do you want us to talk with him? Well, be my guest. He hasn't talked to anyone all morning. Hi, Five. How are you doing? Look, I know how you're feeling. You're worried. You're scared. I understand that. But your sister will come back. I know she will. And what if she doesn't? What if she hates me and decides to run away for good? Trust me. I'm sure that's not the case at all. You're her brother. 
she would never leave forever. She never goes somewhere if I tell me. I know I'm the little brother, but I always made sure she was okay, that she was safe. But now she ran away. I was always holding her back, and now she's gone, left me here all on my own. I'll never see her again. Why would my sister leave me? I had a sister. Tilly. Me and her would always get up to mischief together. Anytime she would break something by accident, I would always take the blame. Because that's just what brothers do. We look out for each other. You look out for each other, and even when you both get angry at each other, everything seems to work out in the end. Trust me. Where is she now? Tilly, um, she... Well, she's living in a beautiful place, far, far away from here, with beautiful grass all around, as far as the eye can see. She has a big house full of candles, fresh made bread, her favourite music, and then she wakes up to the smell of nature and the sounds of birds every single morning. She never has to worry about anything anymore. Would you not go there too? Unfortunately, I can't. It's not my time. Not my time to go there. And... Anyways, someone has to keep you entertained and on patrol. Make sure you don't get all chased by them monsters, eh? <laughs> monsters! Ah! Leon seems to have helped him. Yeah, it must be hard for five. Have there been any ideas, you know, as to where the rest of them have gone? Not a clue. I don't have a good feeling about this, but I would never tell the others that. No. I understand, don't worry. We won't tell them either. At least when we work, it'll distract us all. And before you know it, they will have all returned. Yes, quite right. Well, let's get on with things, shall we? Leon, we're going to patch up the rest of these fences. <sighs> Be over soon. Right, you scallywags, back to work. Have to run a tight ship here, and nothing is going to fix all by itself. Come on, march. Two, three, four, march. Two, three, four, march. Three, two, one, push! Phew! Glad that's done. Is that the last? Yeah, thankfully. I deserve a well earned. Three reanimated, I think. Slow walkers. Hatta. Cheshire, any others? No sign, but. There is one smaller than the rest. Seven, that's it, you. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Come back. Five, get away from there. Five, stop. You'll bring more here. It's not her. It's not. I need her back, Chish. Is it seven? Five. Stop. You need to stop or you get us all work. Stop it, Five. It isn't her. Just look! See, it's not her, so this stops now. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. We need to have a meeting tonight. We need to discuss... We need to discuss this. A plan of action. What we're going to do about the people who are going missing. I agree. After the sun goes down, meeting in the West Wing classroom. And? 
No adults. What? Why? You worked fine before with them, and they won't like what we have to say. And let's be honest, they're adults and they'll try and tell us what to do, where to go and... I guess it's fine. No adults. Everyone accounted for? Yes, Hata. Good. Now, everyone, I know this is a surprise, but we must discuss the current... Has there been any news on the others? Have they returned? I... Has there been any sign? Have they left notes? Anything? Five, did Seven say where she and the others were going? Surely someone had to have said something. They wouldn't just... Enough! Now, we are not going to get anything done if everyone shouts and doesn't listen. And to answer your questions, no, there has been no notes, no talk. They just left. Now, I don't know who decided or even why they left, but we will not rest until they are found. I know there has been talk amongst some of you, and believe what I have heard amongst you. Like what, Cheshire? Some of us think that the adults have something to do with it. What? It's true, Hatter. Everything was fine before the adults came. We were happy. We were, you know, content. We were all on the brink of starvation and no knowledge of what was happening to the outside. Our resources were running low, even before them. Our defences were failing. Our fences were rotting. Our bellies were hungry. Do you not remember? Y yes, Hatter. Do you remember how we were a team, all of us? We all had each other to lean on, and now we are running against the very people who came for help, and in return, they helped us. But we have lost people from their arrival too. We used to fill this classroom, and now half of us are gone, and the only reason was because of the adults. Nothing I say will convince them. They have made this decision months ago. Hatta, they believe the adults to be a threat. You feel so normal. They are scared. I don't know what to say, but... It was Fai's fault. He brought them here in the first place. I... I thought they could help us. You didn't care about us. You left without telling anyone. And you only brought them back because they gave you food. Yes, for all of you. I thought... I... I thought... You didn't think so. And now, because of you bringing in the ear, the Tweedles, Caterpillar and your sisters have disappeared. It's all your fault. Enough of this. <laughs> I hope you weren't proud of yourselves. We're going to send out a search party to find everyone and bring them home. Dodo and I'll go out, see if we can find any clues. While we're gone, Cheshire will be second in command. Anything that needs to be discussed will go straight to Hatter and Cheshire. Meeting dismissed. Good morning, Lee. Where is everyone?
Cora, Abigail, uh, have you seen Leon? I woke up and he wasn't in our bed. Yes, uh, he's talking to Hatter at the moment. Apparently, there has been a search party sent out to look for the others. What? But that's insane. One, one of us should have gone with them. They will get killed out there. Why didn't you say anything to us? I'm not sure. Maybe it was a last-minute ordeal. But... But? Well, we have actually been awake for a few hours. And we woke up to the sound of... crying. Crying? Surely that's normal. They're, they are a bunch of children here. This crying was strange, oh, though. Leon and I went to see who it was, but we couldn't pinpoint it. It was... It was like it was coming through the walls of this place. It just echoed and then stopped. Are you saying this place is now haunted? That would have been the easy answer, but then we found Hatter and he told us that five left. He went to find seven. Well, that's what everyone thinks. Something's going on here. Something isn't right. Any updates, Leon? No, nothing, but something struck me when Hatter was talking. Which is? Five left last night, just just after we went to bed, and but those, those cries, it, it couldn't have been his. The sun was barely rising when we heard them. Five hasn't been seen since. They did sound like a child, though. Yes, but they definitely weren't his. Trust me, I know. The cries of the haunted orphanage. Sounds like a great book. We need to be serious, Baxter. You're right. Well, I shall go and get ready for the day. See you all at breakfast. I can't stomach anything at the moment. What about Charles? What about Charles? Well, maybe he saw someone. Maybe he's seen where Five went to. I doubt he'd be on the lookout for anything. The man has paper stuck to the windows, for God's sake. I know, but it doesn't mean that he didn't hear anything. Hear anything over his maddening thoughts? I doubt it. Enough! Please. I... I will go to talk to him. Alone. <sighs> Why can't she see what's happening? I don't know... She and him were close, and she probably don't want to believe his mind's completely wacky. Yeah. Love is blind, after all. Remind me never to fall in love. It's too complicated to send someone cuckoo. <laughs> uh, I promise. <laughs> Charles? It's me. Please talk to me. I don't... I miss you, Charles. Everyone is thinking such horrible things. Some of the children have gone missing. I don't know who else to turn to. Please talk to me. Even just a little. Oh, for God's sake, Charles. You can't stay in there all on your own. You will go mad, Charles. Please. It's just me. Charles? Where is he? Where did he go? What does all this mean? What does all this nonsense mean? Wait. Children admission forms. All the children that's left. He has written about them. Why? What has this got to do with... Anything that... What are you doing? Charles, you scared me. I'll ask again. What are you doing, Nurse Windmore? I was looking to speak with you. 
I need it to... Going into my office, mixing up my papers and my research will accomplish that, will it? No, Charles, listen to me. Something is wrong. Yes, something is definitely wrong. You have not been put in your place. You have outgrown your position and, frankly, your attitude disgusts me. I have no need for your help. What is this about? What about them? All these papers. All these children have gone missing. Why do you have these? I found them. The papers, I mean. I do hear the people chatting outside, you know, and I heard that, unfortunately, some of the children have run away. I took the liberty of going through the nuns' archives and looking at when they were admitted. Why, Charles? What? Do you think I had something to do with this? The children running away? I hear everything, Nurse Windmore, even the children trying to plot against us. What do you mean, Charles? Last night, of course. Oh, yes. yes, that's right. When you were all tucked away in your little beds, the children had a secret meeting, of course, without your knowledge. They all think that you and every adult in this building are the cause of the children running away. And to be truthful, I can see their points. You are the ones in trouble here, not me. And then the boy, the small boy, he ran away. Oh, the cries echoed after he left, like an imprint on this building. And to help, I was wondering, where would a child go to find the ones he lost? Home. I looked up his records, little Sam's records. He lived not too far away from here with his sister until his mother abandoned them here on these very doorsteps. Do you see my logic? You were trying to find out where he could have gone. Where Seven could have gone also. If I had to place a bet like a common cretin, I would have looked there. But I have my research to do. Oh, thank you, Charles. The group and I will have a look there so we can find them. And hopefully find the others. Thank you so, so much. Yes. Well, at least you haven't lost your mind here. Can't say the same for the others. Once we return, I can help you with your research, if you would like. Yes. I think you would be a great help, Abigail. Doctor. Right. According to these admission papers, five and seven live not far away from here. Leon, Baxter and I will go and see if we can find him and his sister. Hopefully we run into the others whilst we're there. Cora, would you stay behind just in case they come back? Yeah, no problem. Anyway, it'll give me a break for a bit and let Baxter out on an adventure or two. Last time we left him in charge, you got held up at Arrow Point by a child. Well, that is quite true, and no one else needs to know about that apart from us. <laughs> Make sure you all stay safe. I don't want our quartet to become a trio. We will be all right. You make sure no one else leaves this place. The last thing we want is more children leaving and less of them to come back to. See you all soon. Good luck. So, where to? Mm, down this path, on the outskirts of the town. Good. At least it's quiet, and doesn't seem many reanimators have taken interest here. <laughs> yes, that's true. Hopefully it stays like this for a bit longer. Quick question, and I know this isn't something any of us want to hear. Which is? What if we find them? And you think that's a bad thing? Think about it, Leon. Three grown adults couldn't fight off reanimated then. How could they... The children are stronger than you think. And we know the patterns to reanimated by now. We know their weakness, and so... So do they. We will find them. And if they... turned... Would you be able to put them out of their misery? Could any of us? They will be fine. They will be alive. I know they will. Am I the only one who has to be realistic here? I know what you were trying to do. And I often ask myself the same. 
I know you want us to think the same way, but everything has happened so fast for us. I know if anything happened to all of you, I couldn't bear it. Who would have thought a nurse, a banker's son, a soldier and a girl off the streets would have made the best team? That's quite true, but if anything does happen to us, promise me that I will never turn into one of those things. I promise. But I know that would never happen. To any of you. Leon, wait for us. I'm sorry, Leon, I... Uh... It's all right. I reacted wrongly. I know what you were trying to say. Can't help but try and look on the bright side, you know? No, no. But we will find them. They couldn't have gone far. Right. So their house should be somewhere around here. Which one, though? Twenty-one. Oh, but all the houses have been tattered. Even the numbers are missing. So I'm guessing this is a case of trying each one. I'm afraid so. Right. Let's get a move on. Any word from your group? No. Anything with your lot? Nope. Nothing with us either. So many unanswered questions. I don't get it. I know what you mean. But I know they will return. Safely. Hey, I even bet the others are walking back with the children right now. I appreciate the encouragement, but there isn't any need. I just hope that wherever they are, they are happier. It's weird that the food we have there's enough for everyone to have seconds. Oh, speaking of which... I'm assuming you're bringing one to the doctor? Yeah. Someone has to keep him going. It's not like he's going to get it himself. Really? He does usually get the leftovers and scraps. What do you mean? Well, he does come for food after everyone is done. Cheshire sees him when she's cleaning up. Maybe the doctor doesn't like eating in front of everyone or something. He never told us. We always assumed he'd never left the office. That's really strange. True. Even his choices of food made me question. He always takes the stuff no one wants. The bones, the innards, the stuff we use for making soups. Curiouser and curiouser. Indeed. Anyway, I better bring this to him. Even if he doesn't eat it, Abigail will kill me if I don't. Good luck. I can't believe he's been such a greedy god, taking seconds and third of food without telling anyone. Charles? Charles? I brought food for you. Charles? He's not here. Where did he...? The cry from before. From a pipe? Where does it lead to? Where's it going? Wait, wait, the basement. We were told not to go down there, but the kids think it's a bogeyman going down there. That's silly. Why would I be scared of something that doesn't exist? Come on, Cora, don't be scaredy cat. My God! Nothing. No trace. No clues. Nothing. Well, what did we expect? These kids have been in the orphanage for years. Do you think the parents would have kept any evidence of them in their homes? I couldn't imagine leaving a child in a place and never wanting to see them again. Some people don't think they have a choice. 
The poor stay poor. Sometimes they can't afford to feed their families and think there's no other way to survive. Thank God I never had to experience that. Yes, you were one of the lucky ones, Leon. Well, that doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Everyone is in the same boat now, so to speak. Everyone is fighting for survival. Going from place to place just to seek refuge and safety. That's true. What was that? Five? Five, is that you? It's us! Leon, stop! Come back, you two! Five! Five? Five, where are you? Over there! Leon! We're too late. Dodo. No, no. Turtle. No, no. They've become reanimated. They're just, they're just children. They're just children. We need to get out of here. Just leave them like this. There's nothing we can do for them. They've already turned. I know. I know. I know but... We've been through this before, Leon. Bless your sleep. Go back home. Lose. Get off me! Get her off me! Get her off! Ah, damn bloody reanimated. Get her off me! Leon! Leon, help! They... They ran. I've never seen those things run before. this time why are you all locked in cages mm, mess five what happened to you what happened to all of you he locked us down here all of us but seven she was here this entire time we are together again but she won't wake up what has he done to you he gave us stuff he took me down here and put a spiky needle in my arm. It hurt. What? I, I don't understand. You were always having your nose in where it doesn't belong, girl. Charles, you have to let the children go. They aren't well. Look at them. Then that means my experiment is working. Experiment? You've gone mad. What have you done to them all? Fine. If you really must know. Not that you'll be able to tell anyone what happened. Long ago, when we all came to this place, everything was wonderful. A home, a fortress, a place of protection. But as I was wandering the hallways, I noticed the sisters' office and their paperwork. Of course, I had to break into their files for the information that would now become my life's work. Which is? This. All of this. Everything you see before you has led me to this very moment. You see, in those files, hidden away, was a secret. A man who these very walls knew quite well. This fine fellow is experiment one zero four, or as he was previously known, Father Stewart. He died for what he loved, to help people, to help this community, especially the children of this orphanage. The sisters wrote about him with such great praise. Unfortunately, when Father Stewart was helping the people of the parish and anointing the sick, one of them decided the body of Christ wasn't enough and bit him here, here, and here. He couldn't return to his home and continued his help and headed west to the orphanage. He slept in this very room to keep those children upstairs safe. He asked the nuns to lock him in here and not to let anyone venture down those very stairs. After finding out this information, my mind began to race. He has been under here for years, and yes, by the time I saw him, he was malnourished, weak, and couldn't fight back. So I placed him in this cage for my safety. But I nursed him back to health with the rabbits you all brought back for dinner, one or two a week. And as I studied his strength and ability to thrive, I wondered what exactly makes the reanimated reanimated. And who better to experiment on than the most perfect test subjects? 
The ones who had no one looking for them. The ones with no family. No. Yes, my dear. The children. Each and every one in this room has been exposed to some form of contact with Stuart Hiller. This one to a bite, this one to his blood, this one to a scratch, and this one has been eating a small section of flesh. Why? Why are you doing all this? This is madness, Charles. But don't you see what I am doing? I will be remembered. I will be remembered as the man who saved the world, the man who stopped this disease, and you are here to witness it, to be a part of history. No, I don't want to be a part of this. I need to go. Charles, please let me go. You know I can't do that. You will run to the others and stop my work, stop me from changing the world. Please. Please let me go. Shush now. Hush. I can't let you stop me. You will be the best test subject of all. <laughs> I... No choice. Leon, it's all right. You did it to protect us. We could have died if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Leon, look at me. This wasn't your fault. They wouldn't have wanted this life. Roaming around and hurting people, you helped them. You released them. There are only children and I, I, I... Exactly. They wouldn't have wanted their life to be like this. They could have killed us. Or worse. They could have made it back to the orphanage and hurt the others. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you're right. But that leaves the question. Which is? If they made it this far and... and they turned... what about the others? They wouldn't have gotten this far on foot. I don't know. But we should head back and... inform the others. Wait. We can't just leave them here. Well, we can't bring them back with us. The smell will attract the others. Then we buried them here. At least... At least whenever we tell everyone... They'll know where to visit them to say their goodbyes. Fine. Fine. I will go and look for some shovels or something. You are doing a lovely thing for them, Leon. If it ever happens to me, I would want someone to do the same. Well, I hope I will never have to do that for any of you. Same here. Right, so we have shovels or spades, whichever one is which. Uh, they still dig the same, I suppose. Thank you. Would you like to keep watch, Baxter? We don't want to get ambushed. Of course. I'll stand guard, troops. Thank you. Right. Here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is tougher than I thought. Oh, this heat completely dried up the dirt. Nothing is thriving in this. That's true. But we need to keep digging. It needs to be deep enough. Yes, you're right. At least we will have a good sleep tonight. I distracted him more. He wouldn't have tested on you. Tested on me? What did... Ah! Oh, my arm! 
He, he's... He made the thing bite you when you were asleep. I, I tried to stop him. Did it turn into one of those things? I'm, I'm gonna die. I, I need to warn the others. He can't get away with this. Uh, I, I can't. It won't open. Wait. He's left a syringe on the floor. If I can just reach it. I... Got it. Well, what are you doing? I used to live on the streets. The one thing I'm an expert at is lockpicking. Almost there. Yes! I don't have long. Come on, Five. I can't miss Cora. I'll get you out. Come on. I can't move, miss. I don't think I can stand anymore. Just leave me here with my sister and find the others. Get everyone safe. I can't just leave you. I promise, Seven, I would never leave her again. I will keep my promise. I will come back. I will come back for you both. I promise. Uh, oh, I feel awful. My head pounding. My body feels like it's, it's burning up. It feels like I'm inside a furnace. I've got a job to do. I know they aren't real. You're all in my head. I know these voices aren't real. Leave me alone. You understand? Tell me how you're feeling. I feel... I feel like I want to rip your head off. Oh, elevated anger levels. I see. You are a bloody monster, Charles. We took care of you. We looked out for one another and you do this. You still don't understand the importance of my work, do you? Your work means nothing. Nothing. Now if it gets destroyed, along with you. Ah! You! You have gotten stronger with this experiment. I'm not your experiment, because you won't see it finished. Ah! <sighs> what? What did you do? You bit me! You are the experiment now, Charles. Can a person become a reanimated by someone who hasn't been fully turned? <sighs> I guess we'll find out if you survive that long. You little bitch. <sighs> Get off me! Get away from me! Drop that lamp, Cora. Drop it now. As you wish. Ah, God damn it! You will kill us all! You'll burn this place to the ground! That's the point. All your disgusting experiments will burn to the ground. And everyone in it. And I have the only key to the basement. You are the killer here. No! <coughs> I can't root! I can't! Cora? Cora, can you hear me? What happened? I need to get you out of here. <coughs> Hatter, our home is going to burn. Cora, what happened? You... <coughs> you need to save them. <coughs> the basement. We need to get her out of here. Quick, Hatter. You can't. I've been bitten. Go. <coughs> Go to the basement. Get the others. Get them out of here. <laughs> Leave me. There's no point. T tell my family. I love them so much. We will, I promise. Look after her, Chesh. Pull her out of here. If anything happens, you know what to do. Yes, Hatter. 
Be safe. You too. Come on, Cora. Let's get you outside. At least they have a place to rest. It looks lovely, Leon. They would have appreciated it. Everyone deserves this. All done here? Yes, finally. But I'm, I'm happy with the work we did. Here, I found some old twigs laying around, tied them together and made some small crosses. I wasn't sure what their religions were, but I thought it would be a good sentiment nonetheless. This is brilliant, Baxter. What did you tie them with? Oh, yeah, I, I just used my old shoelaces, never knowing when they would come in handy. That's really thoughtful. There. Perfect. It's a good touch. Right, what do we do now? Well, we should head back and get a wash. Wait, can you all smell smoke? Smoke? Who would light a fire in this heat? The orphanage! It's on fire! Oh my god! The children! The core is still in there! We need to go, now! Oh my god! The whole orphanage will burn to the ground! What happened? I'm so sorry. What happened, Cheshire? Is everything okay? Where's Cora? She's over here. She... (coughs) You all came back. You're all safe. Cora, what happened to you? Charles, he's been doing things in the basement. What type of things? Cora? I've been bitten. A reanimated. One of his experiments, they're all still down there. He needs to be stopped. Charles, did this to you? Cora, stay with us. Keep your eyes open for us, please. No, no, no. I need to go and find Charles. No, Cora. You know, I won't last any longer. Please. I love you all. No. So much. This isn't goodbye. This isn't goodbye. You will get better. You will. Look at me. Don't shut your eyes. Don't shut your eyes. Look at me. I don't want to turn into one of those things, Leon. Please. I don't want to be that way. I never want to hurt you all. My friends. My family. Never forget me, will you? Never, ever. We never, ever forget you. Don't let Charles go. She's gone. You go after Abigail. Make sure everyone is safe. I will deal with this. Bye. It's okay. Go. Is everyone all right? We think so. Most of us are gone. Your doctor man hasn't been seen yet. I need to get him out. You can't. Abigail already ran in there. Oh no. Hatter, he's still inside. Cheshire, no! <laughs> Come on, let me get out. Please. Please. <laughs> Charles. <coughs> Charles, where are you? <coughs> Abigail! What are you doing here? I wasn't going to leave you. 
We need to get out of here. I can't. I can't abandon my work. Fuck your work. Fuck all of the messed up things you've done. We need to get you out of here. This will be the last time you see me. What? What do you mean? I have been bitten by Cora. She wasn't going to see me leave this place alive. But Charles, I... I it's all right. Just take this. Please. What? What is all this? My research, my work, and my diary. I'm not mad. Continue my work. Learn what I was doing all this time. I don't understand you, Charles. No one ever did. No one ever will. But you. I'm sorry. Get out of here. Go, Abigail. Run! Charles! Charles! No! <coughs> Hatter, where are you? Chesh, down here. We need to get out of here, Hatter. The orphanage is going to collapse any minute. I, I can't leave them, Chesh. They've been here all this time, right under our noses, and I never was brave enough to look in the basement. What do you... Five? Five, is that you? He locked them down here. That mad doctor, he locks them in here, and I can't get them out. We need to get them out. We need to get you out of here. They're all infected, Chesh. That's what he's been doing. That's what's been going on. No one disappeared. They were underground. We can't... We can't stay down here any longer, Hatter. I can't. We will find the key. It has to be somewhere. I'm not... Don't worry. I will find it. I'll be right back. Sarah, I'm not leaving them behind again. But I need you. You get back to the adults. They will keep you safe. They will look after you. But Hatter... Please, live a good life for me. I will. And Sarah? Jonathan. My name is Jonathan. Goodbye, Jonathan. Goodbye, Sarah. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'll be all right. What's all this? Everything Charles did. All the things he did. He gave it to me before. Before. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Everything will be all right. Cheshire. Chesh. Are you all right? I'll be... Okay. I'm okay. Where's Hatter? He is gone. They all are. That doctor did terrible things. All my friends. Gone. All of them. It's okay. Everything will be alright. Look at me. You've got us. We'll protect you. We will all look after you. We will. I... I don't know what the outside world is like. My family are all inside, all my life, gone. And the person who I was is gone too. My name isn't Cheshire anymore, it's Sarah now. I could never understand your writings. Now it's the only thing I have left of you. Test subject four. I have administered, administered the, dose the dose of the virus to the subject. The dose seems to have taken quick effect. 
The subject seems to react strongly to light. The subject has gone into a deep state of hibernation. Lack of food and daily doses of the virus have been administered. No development. Subject 7 has perished. Subject 3, perished. Subject 9, perished. Subject adult Cora has been subjected to the bite of the subject known as Experiment 104. I do believe that he holds the key to the disease which plagues us. Our world around us has perished. We have been forgotten. In order for no distraction, I must continue my work. Continue what I need to do. I must complete this. Dear Diary, Day 21, Day 62, Day 104, Day 117, Day 362. Dear Abigail, Charles? If you are reading this, then Cora has fulfilled her final promise to me. At least I have a new issue to add to my research, but I guess all that doesn't matter now, does it? I always knew. I thought outside of the box more than others. I always wanted to push the limits to what I could achieve. I never thought I would fall this far down into research that gave me a purpose, gave me a reason. But the truth is, I really didn't have anyone to... to see my research as potential. Although our time together meant so much, I could never give you what you wanted. I could never give you the life you deserved, even in this strange, ruined world. You still always were by my side. Abigail, I ask one further thing from you. Please do not destroy my research. Hide it away and never look at it again if you wish. Please let this be a documented testimony. A story. A file of the life. Before the reanimated. 